If you are a landlord or property manager, do you require your renters to have their own insurance policy? If you've answered no, keep watching. While you, the property owner, may be required to have insurance on your rental property, your renters aren't obligated to carry coverage for their contents. While renters insurance isn't mandatory or required by law, there are several compelling reasons your renters should have their own renters insurance policy, and we're going to be reviewing those reasons in today's video. So let's begin. If your renter causes unintentional damage to your rental unit or to the apartment complex that the rental unit is in, this coverage will come in very handy. A few examples of where this coverage would apply could be first, if your renter was cooking in the kitchen and accidentally started a kitchen fire. And this kitchen fire not only damaged your unit, but also the neighboring units in the building. Or if the renter was taking a bath or using the sink and accidentally overflowed the sink causing water damage to your unit and possibly the units below. While your rental property insurance may cover damages to the building, compensation could be sought from the renter's liability insurance. We recommend you require your renters to have about one to two million dollars in liability insurance. When unforeseen things happen, it's important your renters have their own renter's insurance policy. Your rental property coverage will not provide any coverage to your renter's personal property. If a renter gets their own insurance policy, not only will they have coverage for their personal property in the home, but they will also receive coverage for their personal property worldwide when they travel, which is a great benefit. There could also be coverage for the cost of additional living expenses should the renter have to vacate the rental unit if there was some significant repairs that needed to be made. While no one likes to talk about the worst case scenario, if your renters have their own renter's insurance policy, you can have peace of mind, knowing that if there was a significant loss, your renters would have coverage for their personal property, as well as potential coverage to cover any additional living expenses to help them out in finding a new place, relocating, and living somewhere else while your rental unit is repaired. That way, even though you've gone through a stressful situation of having to deal with repairing your rental unit, you don't have to worry about the well-being of your tenants. Requiring renter's insurance could eliminate unsuitable candidates for your rental property. For instance, if a renter cannot qualify for renter's insurance, do you really want them renting your property? Similarly, it could also eliminate candidates who cannot afford renter's insurance altogether. Square One's renter's policies start as low as $12 a month. So if your renter can't afford or is unwilling to purchase renter's insurance, this could be a sign of financial stress or a lack of care or responsibility for their personal property. Would you really want to rent your rental property to these kind of renters? Creating a relationship with an insurance agent will help your renters get renters insurance with ease and it will also help you receive the proof of confirmation of the renters insurance. As the rental market tightens, more and more landlords are requiring their renters to hold a renters insurance policy. In fact, many of them are even making them a requirement in the lease agreement. So I'd recommend to check with your attorney and to see if you can change your rental agreements to include a renters insurance clause. You can even ask your insurance agent if you receive any discount on your own rental property insurance for requiring your renters to hold a renter's insurance policy. Square One's renter's insurance policy are designed to provide the most comprehensive coverage and at a very affordable cost for your renters. You can easily phone in to set up a policy or your renters can go online to squareoneinsurance.com to get their quote and buy online. Typically, landlords these days will require the confirmation of insurance before handing over the keys. The confirmation of insurance will outline things such as the limits of coverage, the date the policy was initiated, and the insurance provider. For privacy reasons, the insurer will not be able to divulge specific details about the renter's insurance. However, they should be able to let you know if the policy is still active. No, renters aren't required to have coverage for the building or unit they live in. 
Typically, this falls under the landlord's responsibility, as the landlord is the one with the financial interest. If the renters are required to leave the rental property while you conduct any large repairs, the last thing you want is them looking at you to fit the bill for those expenses. Here is where insurance can come in handy. For example, say those unexpected water damage, which require you to replace the flooring. The rental unit is now uninhabitable and would not be suitable for the renter to live while these repairs are conducted. In instances like this, the renter's insurance may have coverage for the renter to find a new unit and to live there temporarily while you conduct repairs so you can both live a less stressful life. As you can see, requiring your renters to hold a renter's insurance policy can provide you benefits as a landlord, as well as providing added coverage for your renters so you can have peace of mind as well. Also, understanding how renter's insurance policies work will help you clearly articulate the benefits to your renters if you are going to require an insurance policy in place. So if you're looking for an easy and online solution for your renters to get an online quote and to purchase, you can visit squareoneinsurance.com.